Okay. I'm Maria back with another video. It's Thursday morning. Uh, I'm glad it's Thursday. It's getting closer to the weekend, which is good. Um, although I have been thinking about, now, what am I going to do this weekend? Um, because, you know, where I'm at right now, I'm working. Um, I'm not really fulfilled as far as activity-wise and what I'm doing during the day. It's making me feel, like, really bored. Because <laughs> I come home and I'm just like... You know, something's really missing, um, like excitement. <laughs> so, I mean, I know I need to look for another job, but I just don't have the drive to do it. I don't really know where to start. I'm just, like, overwhelmed with everything. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not doing anything for me. It's not filling me up. I'm not happy where I'm at. And so, um, you know, it's making me, like, really bored. <laughs> Because usually if I have a job and I really like it, you know, I'm like, you know, conversing and I'm doing things that are really keeping me busy, meaning like keeping me, um, um, keeping my mind going, you know. And then by the time I get home, I'm, I'm like, you know, ready to relax, but because that's not really doing, I mean, what I'm doing at work is not enough for me, meaning it's just not exciting, um, I don't really feel comfortable there, it's not doing anything for me so um that's one issue that's a big issue and then also the fact that you know I I really don't know anyone here in town and so I need I need to get out and do stuff but um I don't know what to do I mean I'm like I really am like I'm, I'm stuck here and don't I'm lost um so yeah I gotta figure things out because like you know it's it's just too humdrum it's too boring Oh. So I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend. I really have no idea. I'm like puzzled. Completely puzzled. Um, yeah. <laughs> Last night I went home and I just kind of sat around and I'm, I, I went for a lot of brisk walk yesterday. Just a quick one around the perimeter of my um, apartment place just to get out of the house. I might go a little bit further tonight. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, I'm the kind of person I need more activity during the day. Um, this is just not cutting in. And, you know, it does. I mean, I'm the kind of person I like, you know, I enjoy doing different things. And this is just, like, so beyond... Boring. Um, yeah, it's mind numbing. It's downright mind numbing. Um, so it was a bad fit, you know. It's a bad fit. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not a bar person. I don't like going to bars or anything like that. So it's like you know, I don't know what really. I don't know what adults do for fun. I really don't. I have no idea. None whatsoever. Um, mostly, I mean, it's like, I don't, I, I guess I should check out to see what they have. Like, you know, there's a crochet class this week if they have one. I just haven't had the chance to really go out and pick up flyers or notifications as to when those classes are. I had them like last summer and I didn't even go. Um, there was just so much bullshit going on last summer that I didn't really have, um, the energy to do anything. I was just so drained and frustrated and not knowing and puzzled and bewildered and everything else. I mean, these people had my shit so fucked up, you know. I don't want, I'm so glad, I don't want anything to do with those people at all, at all. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I realize how boring, how bored I am. I'm extremely bored. And, um, that has to change. I mean, I, I don't know exactly how to change it. I don't want to have anything to do with those people. Like, I don't want anything to do with Polly or Esther or any of these people. I don't like being forced into, um, groups that, um, or on, I mean, that clicks or people that I don't choose to be associated with, you know? And that's a problem. It's a big problem. And as far as my work search is concerned, well, you know what? I'm just going to have to look for work on my own. I mean, I don't know. Um, 
I don't know really what's out here, you know what I mean? I have no idea. None. You know? I mean, I can go on and on and on and on about how this program really screws your shit up. And it screws my shit up. It screwed it up big time. And I'm like, I don't even know exactly where to start. I am so overwhelmed. I want to get out of there because my job, because, um, well, I mean, it's paying the bills right now and I need a job. But it's just, like I said, it's, I don't really like the environment. Um, and it started off on, a, you know, I want, if it starts off bad, it's just like, forget it, you know, forget it. I just want to get in there and do my job and get out. So, um, some people were like, well, just shrug your shoulders and deal with it. Um, yeah, yeah, but it, it just, I don't, it, I, I, I can't, I don't feel driven to like deal with those people. I just don't. Um, and it's, it's unfortunate, but you know, it's like you should have start, shouldn't have started off that way. It's too bad. You know, and probably, um, um, yeah, that's just how I feel, you know. I can't fake those feelings. I can't fake enjoyment. I just can't do that, you know. Other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm fine. I just, I need activity is what I need. And I think that's the most, um, the most important thing for me right now. Um. So there's really not a whole lot that I can do at this point, you know. Um, so I did go to bed, and I was trying to figure out, last night I was trying to figure out, like, how does all this tie in, you know? Like, how does all this tie in? And, and it's like, these people are so, to me, it's just dead weight, you know, that I, I didn't want to have to deal with, you know? Just, why would they think that I wanted to associate myself with them in any way? I mean, that's what bothers me. If I leave a person's place of employ and I don't continue a relationship with you, that means I want to get away. I don't want to have anything to do with you. And the fact that Karen would sit here and attach herself, you know, um, bothers me. And I suspect, you know, the Murrays are behind this as well. I don't have anything to do with these people, you know, and it, it bothers me. Um, that these people would like associate with me and or uh, you know set up my jobs or my sister would set up my, anybody would set up my jobs I mean why would you do that I mean it, it's so stupid you know I, I got um, I don't want anything to do with these people and I mean did they did they think that for one minute that they were likable in my eyes that's what I don't, I don't get I don't get that part you know I don't get it at all I really don't um puzzling, absolutely puzzling, I mean, I, I don't, definitely don't want anything to do with Mary Landucci, I don't want anything to do with Joanna Chavez, or Selena Bruce, or Jennifer Bloom, with any of these people, I don't want anything to do with them, so it's like, it's a, it's a forced type of attachment that I was, you know, had, had to endure, that I, I had no desire to be a part of, you know, um, the, I need, it's like, they're throwing me backwards, and I need to go forward, and it's like, uh, it's just, no, you know, it's not good enough for me, it's just not, you know, meaning it's like, you know, for someone of my age and someone with my experience, I, I'm not, I'm not filled, I'm not fulfilled, but it's not, and, you know, my knowledge is, is more than what I should be doing, and it's, you know, it's like putting somebody, you know, in, in, uh, who's like 18 years old, like in kindergarten, it's like, what the hell, you know? Although I would say, you know, I would probably enjoy the toys in the kindergarten class. <laughs> but it's not, you know, it's not something that I'm really, it's not feeling it. It's just not. Plus, you know, like I told you, it started off bad with those two people in my workplace. So it's like, like I said, once it starts off bad, I, you know, you left an impression. So therefore, I don't really have anything to do with it. Um, so yeah, you know, it's like, okay. I need something that's going to give me more, more stimulating, definitely. Um, you know, and then I was thinking, okay, well, you know, I need, I wish I knew more people, um, but I don't, I don't really have never around people very much, um, and I don't really, and I, and like I said, I want to be, I want to handpick people, I don't want to have to deal with people that I don't choose. I would have never chosen to associate myself with any of those people at all. Um, I thought my experience with those people was pretty bad. 
And so there was no desire to, that's what irritates me so much. Like what made these people think for one minute that I'd want anything to do with them after leaving? You know, it, it just, uh, the mindset of the people just it, it boggles my mind, you know? Um, I sure as hell wouldn't want anything to do with Polly or Esther or any of that shit, you know? It's just, God, I don't want, there's certain things I want in life, and they, they're not in, they're not part of that, so, I don't get that, you know, um, you know, it's not, it's not that I'm hard to be friends with, because I'm not, but, you know, some things to me are just obnoxious, and that's obnoxious, you know, but anyway, um, I'm glad it's Thursday today, um, because I turn in my time card and it reminds me that Friday is just around the corner. I'm like, you know, trying to figure out how to start my job search. You know, that's, that's very confusing to me. Especially if I work during the day, that's like really hard. Very hard. <clears throat> because I can't, I, I just don't want to stay there for the long term. I just don't. I mean, it's not of any benefit to me to do that. It's actually draining me and it's making me feel very tired and just worn out. I mean, sometimes like when you're bored and you have nothing to do or like I have stuff to do, but it's not stimulating. It's not stimulating in any way, shape or form. And so like when you're in a situation like that, you know, you get home and you're more tired, you know, at least I am. I'm, I'm like that. That's how I am. Okay. I can't speak for everyone else, but I have certain needs when it comes to work. You shouldn't cut it. Plus, plus, you know, I need to make more money. I do. I have to have more money. This is not, um, I have so many things I have to take care of. And this whole thing is just not, it's not working out for me. I would have never chosen. I chose this job because I needed it. And um, I, I, nobody should have to be put in a situation where they're just, taking jobs because they need it. They should be interested in their job, you know, and I'm not interested at all. So, how do I start, you know? How do you start? How do you start all over again after you've been gang stalked? I mean, that's that's hard. It's very hard because you don't know what you're dealing with. You just don't, you know. My reputation should be clean. I didn't do anything, you know, and I'm hoping this bullshit's cleared up because I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. You know, I don't have anything to do with those people. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't fucking... You could put a gun to my head and I fucking wouldn't want to have anything to do with those people. Seriously. I don't. I don't want anything at all. I mean, there's these people to me are just like... Parasites or something. You know? Um... Yeah. I just don't find any... I resent their attachment. I do. I resent it. I resent it big time. You know? But I still don't exactly know where it all ties in. Like, how it all fits. I mean, I know there was Facebook commotion. I know, you know, Piggy's responsible for some of it. I know his mom is just a fucking lunatic. Um, I know that, um... I know that the Murrays are behind it, okay, and I, I don't, I, I don't dig on the Murrays, okay, I just think they're fucking crazy, so I don't know what the deal is, you know, but whatever the fuck, just stay the fuck out of my life, I don't want you guys at all, I mean, just fucking get the hell away from me, you know, I caused enough trouble, you know, I'm, I got things to do, and I don't have time to be delayed anymore. It's just like fucking my shit up big time. I mean, I, I lost four years of my time working towards my goals. And that's where it just gets like, I feel like I want to explode sometimes because it's like, how dare you waste my fucking time? How dare you take it upon yourself to make those decisions, life decisions on top of that? It's like, good grief. Um, no. No, 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 no. I don't want people making those decisions for me. So anyway, I'm going to get out of this car and head in. And I will be back with another video if I feel, you know, I need to say something that's really, really important. Um, it looks like it's going to rain today. Maybe, possibly. There's a lot of clouds in the sky. 
So I'm just going to be back with another one, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care.